Hello, I'm Atu Jamun and you're watching Hornbill TV's English News Bulletin. The Department of Youth Resources and Sports Government of Nagaland has set up a regional center for sporting excellence in Sovima. The Chief Minister of Nagaland, Nipirio, inaugurated the center today where guests of honors also included Paitung Putia, Chokrivalusuro and Gaurav Kil. The center is said to have five complexes that include Regional Sports Center, Archery Academy, Regional Shooting Center, Futsal Complex and the Sovima Cricket Stadium. Let us have a look at the details with our reporter, Esther. The sports residents of our city and the youth media. God bless. Take advantage of the facilities and bring laurels to all of us. So, let's begin. God bless. Of the Regional Center for Excellence for Sports here at Sovima. As the special guest of this momentous occasion, we have our very dynamic and passionate leader, our Honorable Chief Minister, Shiri Nipirio. I hope with these few facilities created, you will take full opportunity, exploit the opportunities. Government is with you. We want to promote our sports. We want to host national games now that we are affiliated with Indian Olympic Association. It is a challenge to the youth creating these facilities, not only in Dimapur, in Kohima, we are creating facilities in all over the district, under Hello India, and we are building infrastructures through our budget fundings. And therefore, we will continue to be with you. You know, it's important that uh, any government has to invest in youth. And when you invest in youth, I think sports is the best medium to uplift and bring the youth into a system where it benefits everyone. Sometimes, you know, you always see that people are complaining, ye nahi, wo nahi. But it's very important that we need to change ourselves. We need to encourage our kids, ourselves to be fit more sporty. Yes, obviously, if you can uh, go on to play for country and make a name for yourself and for the country is great. But apart from that, I think just staying healthy, getting the youth into right, sporting channels and using their energy is what I think is very, very important. So I think it's important that we don't really look at kya milega, kya benefit hai, to just go and start playing and make sure we encourage everyone. So I'm sure you know, as Abu just said, this futsal is a wonderful facility you created. And from tomorrow, I expect the football, futsal arenas to be filled with every age group people to play. And this is one of the fastest growing sports in the world, futsal. We need to have sports facilities in one consolidated area so that in future, we can hold multidisciplinary sports events like the Nagaland Olympics, the Northeast Olympics, or even the National Games. It is these facilities that will create opportunities and vistas and platforms for young sports persons to bring glory not only for Nagaland but for the country in the years to come. Creation of facilities like this under the vision of our Chief Minister, we hope will create champions from here who will become global winners across the country and across the world. It is the ambition of the Nagaland Olympic Association to constantly pursue the Olympic ambition of CTS Altius, Fortius. The Olympic ambition to get stronger, to run faster, and to jump higher. And today, with the inclusion of the new word, community, stronger together. We have here Bai Chung Bhutia at the inaugural of the Regional Center for Sporting Excellence in Sovi Dimapur. So, sir, thank you for speaking to Hornbill TV. Uh, sir, um, what is actually the problem in the Northeast, do you feel, apart 
earlier you had said in your speech that uh, instead of going and asking what are we going to get out of it, but uh, what is exactly apart from that the problem with the youth or even with the government, would you say? No, I think that way we still much better than compared to the rest of the other states. I think Northeast is still the hub for sports in India. Uh, yes, dis despite saying that, I think uh, we still need to do much more. But uh, as I said, I think everything comes from individual first. Uh, we need, yes, the government, the so uh, sports associations to provide the platform, provide the support. But that individual person has to also come up with that passion and heart and dedication and interest to really play. So I think if that doesn't come despite having all the support, also it does not happen. So it's a combination of everything. So in Nagaland, I think we need first, you know, the individual people, uh, indi individual sports person, uh, parents to start having that sporting nation to just play and just not look at what benefit I get uh, being a sports person. I think you just need to stay healthy, be fit and then I think if you go on to play for India, make good living out of it, it's great. So um, I think it's a combination of everything and hopefully uh, with with the facilities here, I'm sure the players would utilize it. But it's the, at the end, is the hard work and the dedication from individual and with the sports association and government giving the platform. So this was the inaugural program of the Regional Centre for Sporting Excellence, inaugurated by the Chief Minister of Nagaland, Nipurio, at Sovima Dimapur. Reporter Esther, with camera person Seye, signing out for Hon.